Yo, what is up, fellow YouTubians? This is Mr. Legacy back at you once again with another Let's Build episode, guys. And today we're tackling something really, really cool. And as you can see, we are doing kind of a medium sized medieval build on a house. So, this is kind of medieval slash kind of rustic style. It's really, really cool. As you see, I have an entire village set up here. And in further videos, I might show you how to, you know, build different kind of medieval builds so before i get into this tutorial guys as usual i want to remind you all to make sure to like comment favorite and subscribe specifically guys make sure to give it a big thumbs up and like this video every like promotes my video helps grow my channel and gets my video out there every comment lets me interact with y'all in the comment section guys you know what comment if you're just saying hi if you're asking me how my day is if you're telling me something about yourself i love to interact with y'all down in the comment section below so we're going to get on with this build tutorial now guys and i hope you really enjoy as usual guys, this is not a live combos, in fact just me commentating over the build tutorial gameplay, letting me know what's going on, giving you some feedback, giving you some general advice on what you can do to improve on this build. So we're going to have a nice spacious area here like I'm showing you, uh, you kind of need a big enough area and the building supplies I'm using is oak wood, I'm using white wool, I'm using torches to light up the area, I have my leaves then for the bottom level kind of to add to the aesthetics. I have uh, stairs, which I'm going to use for the roof. I have my glass for my window. And then I have, uh, you know, wood slabs for the roof as well. And a potion of swiftness is always very handy, guys, to kind of speed up the building process in a build. So I'm going to get my oak wood, and I'm going to uh, build a kind of square foundation for it. And it's going to be 9 by 9 and this is kind of your bottom level. Um, I like the oak wood because I think it looks really, really nice. Uh, it, it, I don't know, it just adds so much. It, it makes it look more kind of medieval um, if you use this. But of course, this is just my opinion. You can use any other material you want. I think you're just better off to stick to material like this. So once I have my glass laid in, I'm going to build up three high more, and then I'm going to come across uh, with my oak wood planks again, but I'm going to fill in one of the layers, the layer above the glass with white wool, because I think it adds kind of effect, it makes it look much nicer. I put in the glass earlier because I, I think it's just easier, you know, if you just build it as you're going instead of coming back later and punching out the holes for where the glass is going to go. So that's just my general opinion. Um, you guys can kind of do <laughs> what you want with that. And once you have your wool down, you're going to you're going to build on top of the wool with some oak wood and you know it, this is kind of pretty much the bottom level of this build uh, built then So the next part now guys is to come out two at each side and this is going to be kind of the top level of the house we're going to build. Um, once you've came out two you're going to go up I think about five, uh, five blocks high um, is what I went up and this is pretty much going to be the top build of what our house is going to be. You do this on either side and then you can just fill in the, uh, the kind of gap here like I'm showing you with the oak wood planks or whatever you really want. As I said this is just my opinion uh, this is just giving you advice you don't have to like uh, stick to this you know to get this kind of build but you know I think in general it just looks nicer if you're using the oak wood planks. So guys, once you've came up your five high on each side, uh, like I showed you, you're going to build another frame again. You're going to join them all up with the oak wood and then you're going to fill in kind of the gap in the middle of them all with some nice white wool. And that is going to be our second level and we're going to, you know, later on in the video, I'm going to punch out some of the wool and, and put in the windows and stuff just to add kind of the aesthetics to the house to make it look much nicer. So as you can see now, I'm just filling up uh, these gap areas here 
with some uh, with some white wool. And the reason I, the reason I uh, I came out too with each side is because in traditional kind of medieval builds, um, in real life, uh, the house is always kind of top heavy. It's kind of what the build uh, looks like if you look back in kind of history books or whatever. And the the bottom level is always smaller than what the actual top level is. So I said I would just do it do it you know to kind of make it look more realistic. So pretty much with this done now guys, I'm going to uh, cut over now to the next next part. We have to finish off kind of the roof part of the build. So I hope you guys are enjoying so far and yeah, let's keep going on with this tutorial and skip on to the next part. So guys, as I said, in this second part of the tutorial, we're going to focus on building the roof. The roof is fairly simple to build. It's a very easy process. Overall, this entire build is very, very simple to kind of do. So what you're going to do is come in one at each side um, with the oak wood planks, uh, like I'm showing you now. And then we're going to kind of build up in kind of a zigzag pattern um, up to give give kind of the impression of a slanted kind of roof. So as you can see here, I'm building up kind of a... Uh, uh, kind of in a zigzag pattern and coming up four high and coming right across then so um, our roof looks slanted at the sides but on the top it's going to be completely flat. So guys, once you have your roof constructed like so, where you go up in kind of a uh, zigzag pattern in f up four and then have your flat roof, we're going to have this uh, these two gap areas at either side which we're going to fill up with white wool. As I said before, these are just the building materials I'm using. You can use whatever building materials you want. Now we're going to make kind of a pattern in the wool where we're going to punch out two at the top and one underneath and, you know, uh, come down with the uh, with the wool to kind of divide the house up. So, th so there isn't, you know, so much wool that is kind of in your face. Uh, we do the same kind of design on the other side and I think it just looks really cool. It adds kind of an effect to it and it just makes the house look much nicer, especially when uh, it's divided up like that for the windows. Um, it looks just much, much nicer in my opinion. So once you have this done on both sides, kind of the uh, small pattern and put in the, the wool, um, our next thing now is to tackle the actual roof and finish off creating the roof. So on the flat part, we're going to use uh, wood slabs. Um, they look really, really nice. I think they add kind of a nice effect. Instead of having a completely pointed roof, you have it flat on top. And we're going to come out one extra at each side. Uh, so once we have this done then, we are going to get our, uh, oh, I think it's oak wood I'm using, the oak wood stairs. And we're going to kind of put one oak wood, we're going to put, you know, the oak wood on the kind of zigzag pattern we have going up. And of course we're going to come out one at each side like we did with the uh, wood slabs. So guys, that's pretty much now the roof done and pretty much the build done itself. All, all I have to do now is just kind of add the kind of, you know, aesthetic bits to the house to make it look a bit nicer. Um, just kind of windows and, you know, decorate it up a little bit. So that's in the final part of this tutorial. So I hope you guys are enjoying it, as I said. And make sure to give this a big like and give a comment if you're really enjoying it. And comment on what you'd like to see next. So guys, now we're just going to tackle the last bit of the build, which is pretty much the, uh, the decoration of the house itself. These are just a few different ideas and, you know, features added on to make the house look nicer, in my opinion. Of course, as I said, all this video, these let's builds are just my opinion and what I think is nice. You guys don't have to follow them, you know, uh, step for step. You can just add on whatever you think would look nice yourselves. So at the moment, I'm just kind of fixing a couple of things that I didn't do, um kind of at the start of the, the video when I was building the house first and I'm just punching out the areas for where the windows are going to go and just kind of marking out for where some of my nice outside stuff is going to go. 
So now that I have my windows marked out and the glass put in, I'm going to use trapdoors as kind of shutters on each side of the window. They look really medieval and they look really, really cool. Um, next, I'm going to get my dirt and I'm going to put one piece of dirt underneath each window with a flower in it. To kind of resemble, you know, like a flower pot or, you know, you'd see some old rustic houses with like flower pots underneath the top story uh, windows. And I'm just going to put... Uh, trap doors around each side of the dirt, you know, to make it look like it's it's enclosed in kind of a flower pot case or whatever. I'm going to do this for each one of the uh, windows on the top level of the house, kind of adds the effect, and I think it looks really, really nice overall. guys once I've all my windows marked out with you know put the shutters in and put in the kind of flower pots and stuff I don't really have much more left to do except get my uh, my leaves and I'm just gonna go around the uh, the the you know the bottom floor area um, as you see here I kind of forgot to finish off one side of the actual roof that was uh, my mistake and I added in some torches you know around the house as well just to give a bit of light so what I'm doing here is I'm just getting my leaves and I'm just going around you know the uh, the bottom level of the house and I think it just looks really really nice it looks like kind of uh, there's growth around the house there's like a little garden and then I'm just going to mark off my area for where my door my you know my entrance is going to go into the house after this the final pit, bit I should say I'm going to do is add in like a structural beam uh, to make the house look like you know it's real you don't want to go in I, I mean like you don't want to, want to make it look like it's kind of a freestanding house. There has to be some kind of a structural beam for the actual roof. I think it just makes it look more realistic and it just looks much, much cooler in my opinion. But as I said, it's just my opinion. You can add this in if you want or not. So with that said, guys, this is pretty much the build done. And this is Let's Build uh, Episode 3 or 4, I'm not really sure, finished. I hope you guys enjoyed. As I said before, make sure to like, comment, favor, and subscribe. Specifically, specifically guys I should say I've said this so many times I'm getting jumbled with my words make sure to like and comment really leave a comment below guys if you'd like to see you know more builds like this or what you would like to see next time um, I'm working on something really cool a lot of y'all were asking me for which is uh, how to construct an actual spaceship um, I leave a video to my original spaceship or a link to my video of my original spaceship down below and next time it's been Mr. Legacy and I'll see y'all on the dark side